Hey guys, Josh Schenken here, created the Ultimate Sandbag and our DVRT system. Very fortunate enough to be joined by uh, strength coach Troy Anderson here. What we're going to do in today's lesson is go over kneeling accelerated lifts. It's actually a tip that Troy introduced me to and it works out really well to your clients. So Troy, just briefly, what made you come up with the idea of doing kneeling accelerated lifts? Um, we, we all want to teach triple extension movements like cleans and snatches. Um, sometimes clients that haven't had as great of experience doing this type of stuff uh, have a little bit of time with the technique. They usually want to round their lower back and pull with the lower back or muscle from the upper body. So what we've done here is we've taken two, basically two of the joints, kind of two and one and a half of the joints involved with the triple extension movement out of it in, in regard to the lower body. So we've pared down the complexity a little bit and allowed them just to focus on hip flexion, hip extension, and really work on that and allow them to develop as you can you will see in the progressions here. Two things I really like about these drills is one is it teaches you how to finish the hips. I mean that most people short change the movement. They don't get the hips all the way through. But this exercise, if you don't do it, you can't get the weight up. So it's a great way to teach people how to use their hamstrings and glutes. Secondly, it's a great way of introducing more speed to a movement. So while it may not be your heaviest lift, you're definitely going to teach speed or what we call rate of force development. So whether you're a weekend warrior, high level athlete, just looking for a great challenge, it's a great technique to learn how to do. So let's go and break it down, Troy. So first thing we're going to do is basically get the bag in the zercher position. So Troy's pretty skilled enough, he could have come, he could clean it from the bottom position, but we could have cleaned it from the top and basically just gotten him down there. So bring up in that zercher. And what we're gonna do first is teach him posture and alignment. So he's holding the shoulder blades back and down. He's gonna sit back towards his haunches and do a good morning from the knees. You're not gonna get the same range of motion because we've taken some of the joints out of the equation. But the purpose here is to teach them how to hold those, that thoracic extension and not put load through the low back and how to finish by loading the hips and then finishing tensing up the glutes and the hamstrings. Nice job, Troy. For a lot of people, this may be a wonderful starting point. You're also gonna find when you get in that position, there's a lot of core work too because you're fighting the resistance of the back downwards. So second drill, now that we've layered this foundation, is going to be actually the kneeling clean. So again, we're going to watch for him holding the shoulders in the right position, arms straight, and basically he's going to have to power his hips up and through to bring the weight upwards. And you see how fast he has to move. So you're definitely going to use a wider ultimate sandbag so that you can control the movement because if you have too, too heavy a bag, you're instantly going to compensate through the upper body. So we can see this compensation through him rounding his shoulders, bending his arms, or really trying to get a little momentum into the lift. So let's try to see a couple more there, Troy. And see how fast and how he finishes with the hips. Now if you see someone extending with a low back, meaning they're almost leaning back into it, it means they're not pushing through the hips rather than the low back. One way we can add complexity to this movement, because we're not going to make this a heavy load movement per se, is adding where the bag comes from or changing that. So what Troy's going to do is he's going to go into a shoulder position, but it's going to come cross body. So as he loads up the, the hip closest to the bag, he's going to pull up and across at once. And you see how he came and put down by the same side? So that way, he, when he comes down, he doesn't have to twist and add torsion and potential problems to his low back. Nice, Troy. So what he's doing, you notice he's not really rotating through the low back, rather than he's hinging more towards that side of the back. Beautiful. Let's do one more. And he really has to finish through the right side and then absorb through the left side. So it's a great way to add complexity to those movements. And you're going to find that a lot of these variations are going to be very challenging, but effective in teaching how your clients do the classic accelerated lifts correctly. So check out more at ultimatesandbagtraining.com.